Right, so in this video, I'm teaching you how to make a award badge part in Roblox Studio. So whenever a player touches a part, it awards them a badge. So the first thing we need to do is make a part that we're going to award the player badge with. So to make a part, put it in your workspace, you can size it however you like, or just make it decently big. And in this workspace, I'm going to change the name of this part to award badge part. And we've given it this name because we need to be able to identify it in our script. Right, so now we've done this, we need to make the badge itself. So first of all, if your game's not published, go ahead and publish your game, save to Roblox. And I'm just going to call this badge tutorial. If you want it under a group, change the creator and then just click save. Right, and now this is saved, we're just going to click yes. And then it'll load you into your new place. Right, so now our place is loaded to Roblox. What we're going to do is find our place on the create page. So how we can do that is navigate to your browser. And then when you're here, what you're going to do is go to the create button at the top of roblox.com. And then we're going to go to creations. And then here, we're going to need to find our game when it loads. There we go. We can see our game here, badge tutorial. You can search for your game with control F or if it's at the top, just click it. And then what we're going to do first of all is click view on Roblox. So it opens that in a new tab. And then we're going to go back here. We're going to scroll all the way down to engagement here. And we're going to click on badges. Right, and now we need to create our badge itself. So first of all, you need to upload an image for your badge. And then once you've done that, you need to give it a name. So I'm just going to call it Part Touched Badge. But you can call this whatever you want. And then you can give it a description if you want. So I'm just going to say, this badge is awarded when the player touches a part. And now we've sorted out what our badge is going to look like. We can just click Create Badge. And now we can see here, our badge has been created. So I'm just going to refresh the page. So hopefully our image will load as well. There we go. Now we can see our image is loaded and our part touch badge is here. So what we're going to do is click these three dots and click copy asset ID. There we go. Asset ID has been copied successfully. Now we can head back over to Roblox Studio. Right. And now we're back in Roblox Studio. What we're going to do is we're going to head over to our Explorer and click the plus on serve script service and insert a script. And now I'm just going to put this script here so you see what I'm doing. And right at the top, we're going to make a variable for our badge. So local badge ID equals, and then we're going to paste in that badge ID that we just copied. And then we're going to need to get our badge service. So how we can do that is local badge service equals game. Go and get service badge service. Right, now we've got both of these variables to find. We're going to make another variable for our part here. So you want to get the name of your badge. So you can just go into the properties, right click, copy, and then back into our script. We're going to call this local part equals game dot workspace dot and then the name of your part. This just refers to the part in our workspace. So now we need to know whenever this part is touched by a player. So how we can say that is part dot touched colon connect brackets function, another pair of brackets. And then we want to get rid of one of these brackets. And then in these brackets here, we want to put in hit. So this is whatever's hit it. Then we want to go to the other side of the bracket and hit enter to open up our function. And now we want to get our player from this hit. So what we can do is we can say local player equals game dot players colon get player from character and then a pair of brackets. And in these brackets, we're going to say hit dot parents. And now we've got our player. What we're going to do is we're going to say badge service colon award badge. And then we want the user ID and the badge ID. So how we can say that is player dot user ID comma badge ID. So now we've got that all done. We can exit out of this script. We can head over to file and publish to Roblox. And here we can see our badge tutorial has been published. And now we're going to go ahead into the game itself and test to make sure this badge is working. So head over back to Google or whatever browser you're using. Now we're on our game on Roblox. You can see our badges here. And now we're just going to click play on the game and open Roblox. And then you should see as soon as we load into our game, we have our little part here. And then as soon as we step on the part, badge awarded, Squiddings one part touch badge. So that was how you can make a part that when it's touched, awards the player a badge in Roblox Studio. If you found this helpful, please subscribe. I really need to get back into the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.